Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rasan 427 And actually, today we're actually talking about is actually the Money in the Bank ladder match. Specifically, the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. I actually want to talk about today because there's a lot of rumors and speculation of who's actually going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match and, you know, who's going to be in it and just what the outcome will actually be. And I just want to get my thoughts on it. And so, the main it seems like the number one guy to actually win it is LA Knight. It seems like he's the number one guy. Now, there already was a report that they want the Money in the Bank winner to actually cash in on the World Heavyweight Championship just to give it, you know, make the World Heavyweight Championship basically feel more important and stuff. Since right now, there's only one Money in the Bank ladder match. I don't know if they'll actually, I, don't, I doubt they'll switch it to two again. Just because if you switch it to two, you have to do four because there's two women's titles and two men's titles. You know, I thought they would do that. I think they'll keep this a cold branded pay per view. But the number one guy's LA Knight. And I think that he's probably the guy that I would probably choose the most. I mean, there's been talk about Cody Rhodes. If it's not Cody Rhodes and Cody Rhodes not going to be in it, which it looks like he's not going to be in it, then I'm going to go with LA Knight. I just don't see anybody else on the roster who they're about to push. I mean, I mean, you can go with a few different guys who've already been pushed. Maybe a Damian Priest or a Finn Balor. And another interesting uh, name is Dominic Mysterio. But as far as LA Knight, I think he's he's getting huge reactions. I mean, everywhere it goes. They were just in Saudi Arabia. Jeddah, they was chanting LA Knight when he wasn't even around. He wasn't at the press conference. They were chanting it. So it's very interesting because I think that he's a heel. But it seems like the fans are cheering him as a baby face. But... I just don't, I just, I just think he works as a heel, just from what I've seen of him and stuff like that, where he first, you know, kind of, not, I want to say blew up, but he got recognition for doing a Bray Wyatt feud, which actually, it hurt and helped him at the same time, because, you know, it gave him more recognition, he was feuding one of the top guys, but then the match was absolutely terrible, and just what came out of it, and glad he moves away from Bray Wyatt, and he's actually doing his own thing right now. And I really hope that Daddy doesn't screw this up because I've seen guys like LA Knight. I mean, we've seen guys who be completely super over. They get a little push, and then it's just like it's not really there. Damian Sandow is an example of that. Uh, Rusev is, is an example of that. John Morrison is an example of that. So those are a few guys who've been like him. So hopefully Daddy really pushes him to that next level. And I think that he definitely could be the one who actually wins the Money in the Bank ladder match. I definitely want to see that for him. And as far as Dominic Mysterio, um, I don't really know because once you win, well, I mean, at this point, it's not the case, what I'm about to say. But once you win Money in the Bank, it basically means, like, you're not guaranteed to win, but you're basically, WWE sees you as world champion material. And Dominic Mysterio is, I believe, getting close to world championship material. I don't know about right now. I will put a mid-card championship or like a tag team championship on him right now just to have him hold that. And then probably next year he'll be actually ready for that. But I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have him win money in the bank now because I believe whoever win money in the bank is cashing in on Seth Rollins. So if you do that, then you basically put the title on him basically this year. I mean, you can wait till next year. But I would think that Seth Rollins would be losing it probably by the end of the year. And if you do that with LA Knight, you can switch from SmackDown to Raw. That's easy because you just cash it in. You cash it in whoever you want. So you can switch brands. I had no problem switching brands with that because you like you go after any world championship that you actually of your choosing. That's the whole point of it. But and we all know that just because LA Knight actually wins, it doesn't mean he's going to be world champion. I mean, look what happened with Otis. Look what happened with Austin Theory. I mean... They've been just absolutely ter terrible booking with the Money in the Bank ladder match. It's crazy one, because with all this one, I was like, there's no way they put a world title on And they actually didn't. But I definitely want to see LA Knight get pushed. They definitely need more and more stars. As many stars they can have, of course, they need more and more stars with that. But yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this Money in the Bank ladder match? I'm going to go with LA Knight. That's my pick. I mean, I doubt Co at this point, I doubt Cody will be inside the match. I just don't see it. Just because it's just the way everything's lining up. And he's still calling out Brock Lesnar. So it seems like they might end the feud at Money in the Bank. Or they might stretch it out to SummerSlam. I really don't know what they're doing with that. It just depends what they're doing with the Usos and Roman Reigns too. So this Money in the Bank card could be absolutely stacked to be honest. If they do Cody and Brock. The Bloodline Tag Team match. Do the Money in the Bank ladder matches. Have a few more undercards. I mean this, this could be an absolute stacked show which they've been doing it all year long, trying to stack up the pay-per-views as best they can. But yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about LA Knight or Dominic Mysterio, Damian Priest, Finn Balor, even? Who do you think about winning it? I'm going to go LA Knight. 
Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.